Hi, welcome to this uh, video. It's going to be an experiment for me. We have on this virtual box and 6.1.1. We are releasing version 6.2 in three days. And I wondered, can you get from 6.1 to 6.2 and to what extent and what will be what will be missing, what is not in there? There are parts I already know that will not be in there because it's uh, in system D and there are files in there to protect us against beeps and speakers and all that kind of thing. So that's nowhere on an NA package. So let's uh, do this experiment. We are on 6.1.1. Everything is set right. You don't want to format it. Can you move to 6.2.1 with this tutorial? There is no script and I will never provide it because with this script, one, takes a lot of time for me to make it. Two, you won't learn a thing. This is more interesting to follow and to see what is changed and how can I move from one version to another version and in the future you can do something similar, probably. First off, it's a uh, system that has been not uh, updated for long, so let's do a PTSYU, A, meaning get me everything new. We are going to get 3 gigabytes. Yep. Uh, this is one example. Um, you can't scroll up in the termite conf. I hated that and I fixed that. So it's not, not working here. So I hate it. Let's fix it. So dot config in the termite in the config. There was what was it again? Let's zoom in. Scroll on output. One of these three is wrong. Mouse scroll on output. I think it's this one. That has to be true. I have my system on the other end. So let's pause and check. Okay, checked. That's the one. So this is the only change in the config file, but it was so annoying that you can't scroll up and, and check what was it again, how much gigabyte was it. So it, it you can't go up anymore. So if we do control C and stop everything, control C, control C and kill the terminal and do it again, this thing should be solved. Let him do his work and now we scroll up and now we can scroll up and take a look at what happens up here and say okay we're gonna get all these packages and we press a letter any any keyboard thing then you're moving back down so that's the way i wanted it so that's one of the things we've changed all smaller things but annoying things frustrating things okay how do we get to the version 6.1 to 6.2 let's maybe wait for this uh, update Everything has been updated and, well, I've been busy in other uh, subjects here, but we get this error here. So we are on 6.1.1 and this happens. So what happens in the meantime since last time is that we can now look at YouTube without having these Vivaldi FF MPEG codecs. So it's out of there in the 6.2.1 YouTube now understands what he needs to do on Vivaldi or it's the way maybe around Vivaldi knows what YouTube is all about. Anyway, it needs to go. So that's the one that is going to be removed. And if we do an update again, let's see if everything is okay. So we have 54 foreign packages, meaning AOR. Well, let's not get rid of it yet let's take a look at what is happening on 6.2.1 if you type arch merge then you see we can install arc themes common git conky collection docs what did i do i moved things from my iso into packages that means that when you're on arch merged which is a clean installation, you can get those packages now on that system. 
some of the things are not are not yet moved to a package because there's reason there is a doubt we think about it we have to test it but what can we do already and that's uh, let's go alphabetically arc teams that's okay that's always okay has been okay all the time the conkeys is something special why is a conkey special because a conkey is situated in your own configuration file nobody touches your home folder what did we do in the past in the past we said let's make a script get latest arch merge conkey collection that's gone that script is no longer there what do we have now we have now arch merge conkey collection kit and if we install it you get this why is that because when you make an when you make an iso you can put the files in the etc slash skeleton and what you put there is going to be copy pasted over to any user you make so when you make your account type in eric login up and it's gonna copy paste everything that's inside etc scale so let's have a look it's gonna be such an important folder that you might consider thinking of putting it here because every time we update something in here you'll need to check do i want it is there something new uh what do i change what do i keep <coughs> here is where we update this is allowed for us your home directory we keep off it's common sense but when we want to update something is already there we are on 6.1.1 remember so these are not packages these are just files pacman doesn't know what to do with it it just sees there's something and it says oh conflict so what you need to do is go to open folder as root tell them who you are Is it open? No, nope. nothing happens. Try again here. Aha. Okay, do not display this message again. Close. But I do not see the folder, my friend. Did you forget to open the folder? So, what's going on? Closing up, closing up. Let's figure it out. Well, if Tunar is misbehaving, what you always can do is Tunar and then dash dash quit so tunnel is closed permanently closed if you really want to check let's check again with another way kill all tunnel no process process found meaning yeah I, I really killed it file system etc sorry it's here scale right mouse click open folder as root okay now he's behaving and then you see there's nothing inside Control h and now everything is inside now i could delete everything at once but what's educational about that so i'm gonna stay one one do one thing at a time i'm gonna say that the conkey needs to go so the conkey needs to go where is my conkey here is the conkey so delete I am this yellow thing is very handy this is root watch out what you do in there this is okay this is okay conky needs to go why otherwise we get errors if we're going to install it it needs to be clean it needs to be empty and what do I say here the files have been installed in etc scale config conky if you see this line it means you won't see a thing unless you take this conky Control C and move it to your own system, which is this one. So these two have to go. Control V, and these are the new conkeys coming from the net. Okay, so that's how we should proceed if we want to go from six point. If we don't want to format, uh, I want to go from six point one point one to six point two point one. That's what you're missing out these rolling releases so that was the conkey so anything that's in here yes you get it anything that's in here will have to be deleted so 
Just thinking. Let's do one more and then delete everything. Let's go to sudo pacman minus s arch merge. Docs not necessary is not in the config file. This one is in the config file. You have an i3 in here. So when you run to install i3 w and git, you guess what is going to say. It exists already. There is already in scale config an i3. So delete the i3 and run it again. There you go. If you want to have the i3, the latest i3 version on your own system, control C, move it to your own system. Watch out if you change something and you delete it as well. You know the application melt. Should I quickly show you? Control C, desktop, control V, super 5. Super F5 is better. Directory comparison. Let's make it a little bigger. This is my desktop. This is what I'm going to check. And this is the i3 that I got. Compare. Check. Is there differences? Folders have no differences. But of course, when you get updates in, there will be differences. And then you have to evaluate what to do with the differences. That's a neat thing to do. Um, so, yeah, there are no differences. Okay, so whatever is uh, actually we shouldn't really be copying at all. But hey, there we go. We have copied the latest version from IT from the scale, from the skeleton to our own folder. And that's the way it will go for everything. Let's see if we can check out one more or not. So this one is um, everything. This is all the rest. This is not the elements that are separate. So i3 is a separate thing, conky is a separate thing, but everything like all the catfish settings, auto start settings, gpic settings, this, that's everything. Every, everything that's not in here is in scale, ESO scale. This is something special and cannot be run just like that. Um, because that's actually installing everything that's called Arch Merge. So that's not a good thing to do here right now. When is that a good thing? If you have an Arch Merged version with a D, and then you say, whatever, I'm going to install everything again, meaning also the settings for i3, for Openbox, for XFCE. So this is heavy. It's for us to test out. This is not in your config file, so that will be updated very simple. And this is the same, will be updated. Um, open box configs is something different. Again, we have here an open box folder, meaning you should delete the open box folder, delete, and then you can say let's install open box. There are themes and the kits, open box config, this one. And of course, we we'll, won't see errors because we have deleted already the config open box in scale. We realized we would go and have trouble. And that's how you move from a system that was not rolling to a system that is rolling. That's what you do manually or just decide to go for 2.1. The root kits is also something if you also good tip you just go to repositories to the march and see what is root actually what's in there because I was wondering myself what did we put in there so it's not installed it's white what did we install in that one files let's see at the files oh no we can't see this in this particular case we can't see anything that's strange it's a hidden file Let's see what happens if we install it. Apply, commit, let's see what happens. Okay, so now you know what things are in there. It's all hidden files and that's why we can't see it in here. So yeah, it's all the root files from here. 
not here and here, but one up. So you see X resources needs to go. The conkey needs to go. The face needs to go. Ash RC X session things. This one needs to go. Needs to go. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Nice song. I guess we need just one more. I think we need to delete this one, but we're gonna check. Uh, is it closed? It's closed now. It's here. Install, apply, commit. And it's, it's so we're successful. So bash RC is not included in the list. Ah, yes, I re renamed it as uh, bash RC latest. So the latest version is always this one and you decide what you take from from uh, the latest version to the your own version so this is your own version again we're on the scale if you want to have these files you should move them over here you should move them in this level so if we have uh, well, let's see what we take we take that one that one that one and let's take that one that one and that one that's dangerous why is it dangerous it contains the the look, the sardin monocolor, the arc dark. If you change your icon themes already, well, then it's overwritten. But you better check out these things on the route because that's, uh, well, it's not dangerous at all, but you should compare one file with the other file and see and decide what you do. With Melt, it's much more, more interesting than just copy-paste unless you're on a virtual machine and just experience and testing out uh, these things. Okay, what else? Well, let's talk about the big one. Now, actually, that was not such a, bad, such a bad idea to go in here. Why? Because we see what we're missing. So that one is out of the question. This one we can do as well, apply. I've made a separate one of, for that, but as you can see again, we have here OB menu generator it's very important for us why in here is our settings for open box the menu is created with OB menu generator so if something goes wrong or something is is, um, is an issue what I can do now is say look there is an update in go get it the update comes in it's here and you take these two files and you put it in where it's supposed to be in the will be menu generated and these two files control V will be overwritten replace all and that's it and the updates is in um, does it close yeah it's, about, ah, it's here the button okay so we're almost rolling as you can see the termite teams apply commit ah, all teams so again here we need to go to the menu to the termite just delete termite altogether. Up, oh, delete, close, and then run again. Where is my termite? Apply, commit, done. So my termite is here. Control C. Did anything change? You can compare it, or you can just say, "What the hell?" I trust Eric. He's doing his best. Here it is, termite. There it is. What else? The meta package, like I said, uh -uh. this one is also important for us. XFCE Tunar is our file manager in both um, XFCE and also in Openbox. So check out the folders, Tunar, Tunar has to go, and XFCE has to go. Okay, close up and go to apply again where is my apply in this one apply commit now don't forget to copy paste these these are important tunar xfce copy and get them over here what i always do just to be sure i delete it not copy paste it over just to be sure gone and then control v you had an issue at some point in time so i'm now deleting it Okay, 
almost rolling. What's not okay, what's not done already is this one Arch Merch ISO Scale Kit. What is this? Apply, commit, lots of errors, of course. So we could go over all the details of, of over all the elements. As you can see, there are quite a few elements. That's all the rest that we have not uh, talked about yet. So it's actually not that difficult. So the first one is Troll Tech, gone, delete. Auto Start, gone, delete. Um, catfish, 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 delete. Quantum Conf, this one, delete. Deconf, Deconf is not even there. Yeah, it's here. Delete. Font config, delete. Calculator, delete. Genie, bye Genie. All oh, Genies, Genies, many colors. You can have lots of colored schemes of Genie. One of the hidden gems. Gpic, bye Gpic. By the way, there is a special color theme in uh, Gpic color schemes. Arctic Ice Studio, very nice. It's a hidden gem. Uh, GTK2, so that one, delete, that one, delete. What else? Hot top settings for your application, HTOP. Mine apps list, bye. NeoFetch is no more. This is an empty folder. Gone due to an installation of uh, menu NixFCE. Nitrogen, can we lose that one? Yep, we can lose it, it's in there. This is separate, so this is a separate package, separate package, separate package, separate package, all correct. Plank is not a separate package, that's the ISO scan. Eden Dito can go. Screen key can go. We're down here. Tint 2 has to go. Delete. Variety settings, delete, volume icon, delete, and yet delete. Right, no mistakes made, but we forgot something. But this is what we have in separate packages. We installed the Conkey, we installed i3, the separate Arch Merge packages. And all the rest is the scale, but we have also the local share. There is an the settings in here as well so we need to delete those as well the local share applications there is stuff in here that we do not need I, I wonder if we keep the folders there and not a file so it's a good test for me to see what happens then so I'm keeping the folders and deleting the files normally I would just delete everything here but let's see what happens now close up Apply, commit, details please, everything committed, voila, everything is or in here or there, and all these elements are back on the system, let's have a look, in here, we'll find this again, that's a helper, that's that one, panel switch, this is our backup, Oh yeah, that's new. You downloaded this now. That's new. That's something we still have to install. That's the XF switch for the menu. Let's go up to config. Everything is back here. This can be deleted. It will not bother, bother you because it's the Calamares desktop. It's for installation. So yeah, just clean it up. But it's not necessary. It will just not start because it's not there. And uh, well, everything is back. NeoFetch is back. All the information is back. So now, now, we could do this if we really want to have the same version from the 6.2.1. Then we could do this. And now we have a complete config file folder that's all set up, you know, exactly the same. And the same applies here, local share, go into your local and say share is gone, 
invalid argument. We cannot delete it, can we? Uh, okay, whatever. So let's see if we can can copy this one over. So application has to go, except CE has to go. And now we're happy if we can copy it. Hello. Done. Okay, and this is something for you to decide if you want to have um, these kind of uh, changes. So, but there are no changes in, in this thing, I guess not only this one is the latest version. So we can copy paste this over and decide to change and look and compare. Okay, were there changes? Oh yeah, Eric has made a lot of changes. So it's a good thing that I checked it. Preferences, classic. Blah, 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 blah. light is much better for you guys to see so I found some nice um, aliases so that's how you so this is the latest version coming from me and this is what you have so you say okay looks good I want this or you don't want it and you don't get it this is for the, um, the error we get in the Intel PCs they get this error in the when they boot up and that's how we uh, get rid of it one of the lines to get rid of it and uh, before that we run sudo pacman minus s intel u code or something to check it out it's all on archmerge.info so we can just say some text that has been added as you can see some more explanation what it is i am a teacher so that's it we have now the same, the same thing. The only thing that is different here is Editor Nano, which is okay, which I don't provide, which this line comes from the ISO when you build it, and that's why it's in there, and that's uh, the difference. So, well, uh, we have now the latest version of Bash. So every time we want to use our Bash, then we can um, check out our new aliases. And one of the aliases was Update Group. Eh? That was one of the the applications that are of aliases that are now that's the name guys intel u code that was it so all right um okay so we're not there yet i know the video is long but it might be interesting for some of you to learn and to feel already how an iso is created but we'll get there in these tutorials when i feel i'm ready to share the knowledge I do not want to tell any stupidities in that regard. So, hey, we're not there yet. Why are we not there yet? Well, there are some elements. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a peek. Let's go to, let's just type Arch Merch. Let's see what uh, Google finds. Okay, nice. Okay, Arch Merch info. That's where we want to be. And we're going to talk about Arch Merge 6.2.1. So this has been covered. So we're now rolling. We could say we are now 95, 98% rolling. There are some elements in my ISO that are still there. Okay. So he installs Ubuntu phones. Hmm. Do you want Ubuntu phones? I don't know. So up, up, up. where is my termite? open terminal here and then you say okay let's see Ubuntu what we get packet Ubuntu well too much packet Ubuntu TTF much better so number zero will do our trick and we'll install it and I will see sometimes it's uh, fun to use Ubuntu fonts in conkeys that's a reason why packer XF panel switch that's the thing we've discovered in our local folder oops that's wrong let's type switch is enough voila there we have number zero yes no and there's an error what's this why is that an error no space left on the device oh so our temporary folder must be full this may be possible that might be possible so file system temp hmm. let's see if this helps us these pac-man pac things and pamac 
things and Yahoo them. Let's get rid of them. Empty trash. Go ahead, my friend. No space space left on device. Uh huh. Okay. Let me show you a code how to fix that. Okay. After a little arch wiki thing, uh, asking um, make temp bigger. I think I typed in, and I found again what I was looking for. So mount minus o remount size. I don't think we need a space there. It's not four gigabyte. Let's take six gigabyte. Uh, no time and take the temp folder. Only root can use that. Mm, sure, I am root. There you go. And let's go ahead and let's try to install that again. <coughs> oh, Control X to get out of there. And apply. We did not need to reboot. If you reboot, then of course you have also the temp folder is also cleaned out, and then it, it will work as well. But we were making a tutorial, and now we have learned that there is a way to make the temp folder bigger on the spots and check out that code. Did not invent the code, it's on the wiki archlinux.org index.php tmpfs. So it's a temporary file system. All right. That's done. <clears throat> what is this application? Panel. Oops, no, not that one. That's our regular panel. XF panel. So we have a new application in 6.2.1. And here is my application. That's the was the one in the folder.local. What does this do? You can change your look. If it is changed, of course, GNOME 2 is up here. Redmond is down there, XFCE is up here and down there, that one is here and then there, we should fix the icon then, that one is up here, looking like that, and this is our original, and now something happens, yeah, here too. So each time you switch and you use this thing, for some reason he does not remind, or he adds actually something, he says to the panel, go hide yourself. Automatically you hide the panel, always. So no, I didn't ask that, it was not like that, but anyway, that's XFCE panel switch that is doing that. So anyway, we're back on the same system now, and that's XF panel switch. Hello icons are from someone else, to be sure, so you do know that it's not from me. The only thing I do is check out if there are updates, and the icons are from Alejandro Camarena. So if you want these colorful icons as well, they are now on the ISO. In the meantime, I'm deleting some of the wallpapers, looking for a nice one, as you can see. That's why I like my terminals also to be transparent. Those are mine. I'm so fed up and bored with my own wallpapers. So, yes, we install the hello icons, git. We go to this place, that place. Go to icons and check out the wonderful work Alexandro has Alejandro has done. So you like it, you hate it, that's up to you. It's a choice. It's always choices while you choose this distro. It's a choice. So that's that one. Adapter team is also not present. So Packer Adapter. Let's see what we get. We have a lot of elements, but we need adapter GTK. We're on not KDA, we're on GTK. So number one is great for us. Done. 
it's a theme so we actually go to the same place but in the themes adapt and lock to close and now we have another theme it's up to you there's also an alternative i've not installed it because it was over 200 megabyte but there are alternatives from the colors and i'll remember to post an article about it so that's that um we've removed command not found so i guess that's sudo pacman minus r yep there it is you're gone you're out and that's something different here the con keys and an update the con keys and what's this right mouse click we have here now in 6.2.1 a con key sim. how can we do that well that's actually in here configure custom actions i've made a lot of them already because i use them all, right, all the time hola what's this it's already there of course it's already there eric all you need to do because we made copies from the tuner folder in the dot config it's there but what but it's not working uh, where is it it's not working remember killing tuner that is a version of possibility but it's also possible to type tuner minus minus quit no i think we need to do that one since kill all tuner says no process found and check it out oh it's not working should i really log off that's too bad well i'm on a virtual machine so that's no issue so i'm afraid i still have to log out here oh no open box well, the conkey here is, is still there, it's no problem. That's easy enough. But the XFC was a bit too far for me. So I thought, let's make an extra action. What an ugly thing here, Alt-T. No, Alt-Arrow then. That's better. Right mouse click, and yes, we do need to log off and log out. Log out and log on. Conky Zen, let's do quickly a nice one. Just clicking, just clicking one. At random. Voila. There we have it's on that place. It was really a random choice. Back to our page. Arch merge hello. We have here the releases. We have Arch Merge Kirk and we are here that's done that's done already hardware support is not in there so extra packages for better hardware yep that's in the 6.2.1 not gonna give the list turn our custom actions edit yeah we made some fixes there were some fixes to change from png to gpg that's a fix not sure if we have others as well let's quickly look what i did last month uh -huh. so that one is changed and that one is changed i think that's all so okay aliases edit you've seen if you press the word type the word alias there are some of the things that we added some logos in your conkey folder you'll find logos better printer support that's something you should add ho oh. I don't know I still remember that thing minus s g t k something <laughs> no really can't say what it was again let's pause okay looked it up we need to do it with packer g t k three and then print backends some of the elements yep it's definitely an aor package but it's a different one. Oh, that's not the one i use so let's try again sudo pacman minus s gtk3 something 
That's strange. I can't find it. Print backends. GTK3 print backends. My package is not in there. Nor is it in there. Ah, strange. Okay, an update. Go ahead, my friend. Let's see if anything changed. And also the other one. Can we do the other one? No. So type it sudo backend minus sgtk3. Strange. So anyway, I'm trying to install gtk3 print backends. For some reason, I do not find it here in the virtual machine. Some printer support, which I can go not go in too much detail about that. I to improve it is just one line. And yeah, that's of course completely not for today. But when we're going to talk in a few years time, how to make an arch ISO, we'll talk about the backend, how to make an ISO. Do I... Have I covered everything? Do we have now, can we say now that we have a 6.2.1? I think we're coming very close anyway. We've done all our packages. That's the main issue, but keep off of one of them, that one. Do it with um, separate elements so you know what's going on. And I'm really thinking very hard. There are some things in my ISO that are not on your system, but all in all, I really think it's it's five percent or two percent or even less than. Uh, so we could say, and we could promote that this one, Control Alt T, six point one point one is not correct. And let's end with that, so you know that as well. You go to the file manager, you go to file system, you go to etc, you go to uh, lsv, let's take that one, release, and say, Eric, I've done everything, I can say that this is actually 6.2.1, okay, you save it, you're happy, we're happy, but if things happen, please do tell us that you have made this manual uh, this manual change that you followed this tutorial and that you upgraded it yourself because there will be differences between the 6.1.1 and 2.1 that we're not um, seeing here there you go you have now your new version maybe you should you want to change your name as well since my name is the host name is uh, 2.1 so save and now you can fake that you have installed a 6.2.1 and you can um, go ahead and not install 6.2.1 and just carry on as usual. This one as well needs to change. Right mouse click, properties, manual change to close. Dear friends, I have installed 6.2.1. Not really. You've upgraded to 6.2.1, the manual way. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, and I'll see you on the net. Cheers.